When you open Excel, this is what you see at first, a page that looks like this. And you've got tutorials here if you wanted to watch them. And you have the option of opening a blank workbook. You can search if you know what file you want, but you don't know where it is. And then there's a list of recent things that you've had open. And it goes quite a ways. It's important to know where your files are, but if you've made a mistake and you don't remember where something is, but you worked on it today, it's in the recent list. I mean, you can find it from the recent list. We're going to open a new workbook, a new blank workbook. And so we do that by clicking here. And I had to double click to get that. And it opens. This is an Excel workbook. What you're seeing is a spreadsheet. But the fact that we could have a whole book of spreadsheets. See, we can click down here and add another sheet. And so this is called a workbook. And it's comprised of spreadsheets. Now up here at the top, this is officially called a ribbon. This is where all the menus are. And you see the top layer here, File, Home, Insert, Page Layout. These are give you different ribbon menus. So if we click on File, it takes you back to what you saw when you first opened this. The little arrow up here will get you back to the spreadsheet. And then on Home, these are the submenus. And see, they're referred to here. Clipboard, Font, Alignment. And so all of these things in the font category are ways that you can control the font. We've got Calibri font right now is what is going to be used on this spreadsheet. But if you were making something that required Times New Roman, because things like that happen, you select the whole spreadsheet. And Times New Roman is too far down in the alphabet for me. So you can just write in Times New Roman. And now Times New Roman will be the font for this workbook, the spreadsheet. These are all the alignment menu. Numbers, you can format numbers to be percents, money. This lets you increase and decrease the number of decimals that show. And the pull down menu lets you have different choices for how to format numbers. The styles for the cells. This is controlling the cells themselves, formatting them, inserting and deleting. These are editing and ideas. You know, I've never clicked on ideas. <laughs> uh, so maybe that'll be a different class. You get different menus. So you insert. These are all the things that have to do with insert, what you might want to insert. You can insert charts, add-ins, illustrations. You can bring in pictures, online pictures, icons. And a lot of these, if you use Microsoft Word, these will be the same sort of things in, that PowerPoint and Word offer as far as shapes and icons go. Tables, pivot tables, regular tables. And so each one of these see, it gives you different choices. Uh, control over how things are arranged. Scales, whether you want to see the grid lines or not. See if you click them off, it looks like a white piece of paper. Maybe you don't want to see the headings. Then it's like you're working in Word, even though you're not. But i um, like to see them. And formulas, data. We'll use data a lot in this uh, set of units. Review. This lets you, this is more for editing. You can lock things so that people can't change certain cells. 